Good day. In this video, we're going to do another four circle geometry riders with reasons. In this circle, they tell us O is the center. They tell me this angle at the center is 78 degrees. They've got C, B, and A on the circumference, and we have to work out what J and K is. If you look at our sketch, O, C, and O, B are radii. That means this angle here and here will be equal. And this 78 is the angle at the center, is twice as big as the angle here at J. So we write J is equal to 39 degrees. Angle at the center is 2 times the angle at the circumference. So I halve this value to get the angle at the circumference. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Then I go in triangle OCB, OCB back to O. The whole angle C is equal to the angle B is equal to K. So because of those two radii over there, I wrote radii. This angle is equal to that angle. We're both going to call them K now. Then we write 78 plus 2K equals 180 interior angles of a triangle. Then we minus 78 on this side. And you divide by 2. That gives you K equals to 51 degrees. In this sketch, they gave me a circle, F, E, and D on the circumference. They told me F, O, D is a diameter. And they gave me this angle at O as 108 degrees. This is M they want, and L they want us to work out. So on the sketch, we have a diameter. That means we'll have a 90 degrees over here. We have a radius here and here, which will make this angle and this angle equal. And then we've got a radius there and there, which will make this angle and this angle equal. Let's see how we write it. L is 54 degrees. Angle at the center is 2 times the angle at the circumference. So we have this angle at the center, which is twice the angle at the circumference. So that one, and that's the angle at the center. And for my answer, I went into triangle FDE. FDE, I go into this triangle. Angle E is 90 degrees. Angles in half a circle. There's my half circle, there's my 90 degrees. Some people call this angles in a semicircle. Staying in this triangle FDE, the big triangle, I say angle F over here plus angle D over there plus angle E over here will add up to 180, interior angles of a triangle. Then I substitute the values I have in here. So if we don't know, plus the 54 that we worked out, plus the 90 that we mentioned equals 180. Then I minus the 54 and the 90 from the 180. Then we get F equals to 36 degrees. And I write it in on the sketch. Then I write F is equal to M is equal to 36 degrees. So this angle at F is the same as that M because of radii that we wrote over here. The two radii are equal. So the angles opposite them will be equal. In this sketch, we have J, O, L, the diameter of the circle. We have K on the circumference. That angle is 42 degrees, and we always work out Q over there. I'm going to start in triangle, O, K, L, back to O. We will say this angle L is 42 degrees. L is 42 degrees because of radii. Radii are equal, and because they are equal, the angles opposite them will be equal. Now we will go into triangle J, K, L, the blue one. Angle K is equal to 90 degrees, angles in half a circle. So that's a tr put it in there for us. Still staying in the triangle JKL, this blue one. I say angle K, the angle over there, plus the angle L over there, plus the angle J over here will add up to 180, interior angles of a triangle. Then I substitute the values in of the angles that I have. So it's the 90 of K that we had over here. Plus the L, which is 42, that we worked out, plus the Q that we don't know, equals 180. Then I minus these two numbers from the 180, and my final answer, Q, equals 48 degrees. This I always fill in on my sketch for in case I need it. In this question, we have O, center of the circle, a diameter running through here, capital R, S, Q, and P on the circumference of the circle. We have to work out small s and small t. We will start in triangle P, O, Q, back to P. We will work in that triangle. 
we say that angle P is equal to angle Q is equal to the S that we wrote in here and because of radii because the radii are equal the angles opposite them will be equal then we say angle P plus Q plus O equals 180 interior angles of a triangle so I add those angles in that triangle and we write 2S plus 88 equals to 180 just substitute the angles in we minus the 88 on this side so 2s equals to 92 and then we divide by 2 then we have s is equal to 46 and I like to write it in on my sketch on both positions now we have to calculate the value of t and then we say s is equal to t is equal to 46 angles in the same segment so this angle is equal to that angle over there please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are not sure about any, of any problems that you are busy with in geometry, you can send a photo with WhatsApp to this number and explain what troubles you. We will look at it, make a video for free, and post it on this channel. Then other people can benefit from your question.